what every physician needs to know, Wernicke's encephalopathy after bariatric surgery. TMLT has seen an alarming increase in the number of liability claims related to Wernicke's encephalopathy, WE, following bariatric surgery. Allegations include failure to monitor thiamine levels in post-bariatric surgery patients and failure to treat symptoms of nausea, vomiting, visual disturbances, and motor impairments with thiamine supplementation. A high index of suspicion is required when treating patients with a history of bariatric surgery presenting with symptoms suggestive of WE. Surgeons, emergency physicians, internists, gastroenterologists, and all healthcare professionals should be aware of the risk factors and symptoms of nutritional deficiencies. Early recognition of symptoms is important for all providers caring for this patient population. Physicians could be subject to litigation if they do not order labs checking thiamine levels when a patient who has recently undergone bariatric or gastric surgery exhibits symptoms of confusion, ataxia, and nystagmus. In some cases, physicians contend that it was someone else's responsibility to check the patient's vitamin levels. Ultimately, there was a delay in getting the needed lab work, and this led to catastrophic patient outcomes. Some of these physicians stated that they felt the patient seemed to be eating well, so checking nutrition levels was not necessary. Cases have also been documented in which the appropriate lab work was ordered, but not completed. Developing and consistently following procedures for monitoring and acting on test results may prevent these results, or lack of results, from being overlooked. Links to learn more. With more than 20,000 healthcare professionals in its care, Texas Medical Liability Trust provides malpractice insurance and related products to physicians. Our purpose is to make a positive impact on the quality of healthcare for patients by educating, protecting, and defending physicians. <laughs>